Okay, everyone. In this video, I will go over the Physio EX4 experiment from the endocrine lab in my lab I'm mastering. Let's go first through the basic of uh, of the experiment. So, in this experiment, you had three rats: male, one without thyroid gland, we'll refer to it as TX, and the third one without pituitary gland. We will refer to it as high box. The first round was to measure the basal metabolic rate for each one. Then we will inject either thyroxin, which is another form of the T uh, thyroid hormone, or we will inject TSH, the thyroid stimulating hormone, or we will inject a drug that we refer to it as BTU. This is a drug that blocks thyroid hormone production by blocking iodine ions binding to the protein. And then what we will do, we will measure the basal metabolic rate after, after each one of these injections. A reminder for the pathway that we are looking at, we understand that there is the pituitary gland, this pituitary gland would release TSH. TSH would target the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland would release the thyroid hormone, which would affect basal metabolic rate. So this is the pathway that you are testing. Let's try to understand the data you should uh, got. So we will have would create like a table. Okay. Uh, here is the rat injections, basic metabolic rate. And if there is a mass or not. For the first rat, we said it was the normal, no injection in the first round. The basic metabolic rate, we will refer to it as 100. That's the, this is the a line that you are going to compare everything to it. So this is our control. And of course, there is no mass. Then we have the second rat, the rat without the thyroid gland, the TX. Also, no injection. The basic metabolic rate, since we are missing the thyroid gland, then we are affecting, we don't have thyroid hormone, which means we are affecting the basic, the basic metabolic, uh, metabolic rate. This should be reduced. The numbers I'm putting are just random numbers, uh, just to simplify the things. With this rat, also, without anything, there is no mass. The third rat, the third rat, the one without the pituitary gland, also no injection. Now here, without the pituitary gland, we are missing the TSH. So therefore, the thyroid gland is not receiving any stimulation. Therefore, the thyroid hormone release would be minimum. So the basal metabolic rate also would be minimum. So this was the first round. We are establishing the basal metabolic rate for each one of the rats. Then the second round was injections. I think the first thing we injected was the thyroxine. That is the thyroid hormone, thyroxine. So let's think what will happen for the normal rat when we give additional thyroid hormone. What we are going to get, we are going to increase the basal metabolic rate. We are going to increase the basal metabolic rate. Now, this rat is missing the thyroid hormone right? Because the thyroid gland is not there. So what will happen when we give the thyroxine? It means that we are bypassing the thyroid gland and therefore we are going immediately to give thyroid hormone, which we will see an increase in its basal metabolic rate. Comparing to the 50, okay? It was less than the normal, but now we are uh, putting back the hormone gland, the thyroid gland, so everything should be back to normal. To normal. The high box, the, uh, the one without the pituitary gland, it was missing uh, uh, that stimulation. It was missing uh, the TSH, right? So when we put TSH and therefore there is not enough stimulation for the thyroid gland, so there is no thyroid hormone. When we put the thyroid hormone, also we will get back some of the effects, some of the basal metabolic rate, it will be increased again comparing to the low levels without uh, without any injections. This was the the second round. 
Then we will have the third round. In the third round, what we injected was uh, TSH, the thyroid stimulating hormone, in all of the rats. For the normal, after we injected the TSH, the normal rat already has TSH because its pituitary gland is active and it targets the thyroid gland, right? Which would release the thyroid hormone. So already it has TSH, and now I am giving additional TSH. What I'm going to see, a double or an increase in the basal metabolic rate. I will see an increase in the basal metabolic rate because why we are enhancing the stimulation to the thyroid gland. Not only increase in the basal metabolic rate, but also I will start to see a mass, gutter. Why? Because the thyroid gland needs to keep up with the, uh, with all of that stimulation. Now, for the thy for the rat without the thyroid gland. So for the second rat, what we are missing, we are missing this. Do you think that? So for the second uh, rat, we said the second rat does not have thyroid gland. So we are missing this, right? Thyroid gland, no thyroid hormone. So now the TSH, we are injecting TSH. But do you think it will affect the basal metabolic rate? It should not. Why? Because TSH will not find anything to stimulate. There is no thyroid gland to start with. So here we will see the same level as a normal rat or a similar level to that rat before any injection. And of course, I will not see any mass. Why? Because there is no thyroid gland to get a mass within it to start with. For the third rat, the one without the pituitary gland, rat was missing the pituitary gland. This was missing. So there is no TSH, and therefore the thyroid gland did not receive any stimulation. Now we are bypassing the uh, pituitary gland, and I am injecting TSH right away. The thyroid gland for the third rat, it's there. The thyroid gland for the third rat, it's there. So I am just putting TSH. So I should see an increase in the basal metabolic rate, and I will expecting, or I would, I should see also a mass. Why? Because now I'm stimulating the thyroid gland too much to produce its uh, hormone. The fourth round was to inject the drug, the BTU. BTU, and we said the BTU is going to block iodine binding to the thyroxine. So this was in the normal, this in the uh, rat without thyroid gland, and this in the rat without the pituitary gland. So for the normal, what I'm going to see after injecting BTO, I should see low levels of the thyroid hormone, right? Because I'm affecting this. What I'm doing, I am blocking the uh, the iodine ion from binding the thyroid hormone. So yes, I will get thyroid hormone, but without iodine. So it would be inactive. This is very similar to iodine deficiency, right? Yes, I do the hormone, but I don't have iodine. So for the normal rat, after injecting BTU, I should see decrease in the basal metabolic rate, but the demand for the thyroid, uh, thyroid hormone would remain high. So I should see also a mass, okay? Low metabolic rate and a mass. They, this is typical to the iodine deficiency. For the thyroid, for the rat without the thyroid gland, injecting BTU would not make any big difference because the rat does not have a thyroid gland and therefore does not have thyroid hormone to start with. So I would see the same rate as we started and no mass. For the rat without the pituitary gland, if I am in injecting BTO, which means I am targeting the thyroid gland right away, or I'm targeting the or I'm blocking the thyroid hormone right away. But remember, this without the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland was not that stimulated. So the levels to start with are low and they would remain. So I should not see any much increase or any big in increase in the uh, basal metabolic rate, and also I should not see any mass. So basically, that was the experiment, the three different rats and the basal metabolic rates after manipulating this path.
that from the pituitary, it gives TSH, targets the thyroid gland, and it releases the thyroid hormone, and it targets the basal metabolic rate. So what the changes I can do along this pathway that would affect the basal metabolic rate. So basically, that's the experiment, and that's the result around these lines. You should get uh, these results. You should be able uh, to interpret the data if I gave you, for example, what should happen in a normal rat after injection of thyroxine, what should happen to the basal metabolic rate. You should be able to tell me. Uh, if I injected a rat without thyroid hormone, without thyroid gland, if I injected with TSH, what should happen to the basal metabolic rate? You should be able to tell me. You should be able to tell me if there will be a mass or not. Basically, what will help you is some logical thinking about uh, the pathway and how it can change based on manipulation along uh, this pathway. Let me know if you have any questions.